Hi, we're working the latest in a disturbing child abuse investigation. A teenage boy is facing criminal charges, accused of burning a two-year-old relative with a cigarette lighter. We've learned two adults are also facing charges, and tonight we're hearing from neighbors. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is live outside the Pawtucket Police Department with our top local story. Mike and Susan, police won't say how the 13-year-old and 2-year-old are related, but we do know the two adults involved in this case were babysitting the toddler when he was allegedly burned by the 13-year-old. Pawtucket police are investigating an alleged case of child abuse that happened at this home on Grand Avenue late last month. We've learned a two-year-old suffered serious burns all over his body, including his neck and groin. Police tell us the little boy was burned repeatedly by a cigarette lighter. I'm shocked. What can, what can I say? The alleged abuser is a 13-year-old boy. He's facing a child abuse charge. Well, anytime someone is burned, that's obviously a severe crime. What's uh, unique about this one is the age of the offender. And uh, that's, that's something we you know, hope to prevent in the future. And uh, this, this individual could get some uh, treatment to determine why he actually did this. Two adults, Kimberly and Jay Taylor, are also facing charges. They're accused of cruelty and neglect because police say they didn't stop the crime and didn't report it. We went to the couple's home. There was no answer. But people who live nearby tell us Kimberly and Jay Taylor are good parents who shouldn't be facing criminal charges. They've taken in children that nobody wanted and made good citizens out of them. And, and they, they just love them. They love them all. And it's just not fair. It's really not fair. The 13-year-old is in DCYF custody. Kimberly and Jay Taylor, as well as the 13-year-old boy, are all scheduled to be arraigned tomorrow in family court. Reporting live in Pawtucket with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.